Wakaima and the Hair by Tales from Uganda. Upon a time, deep in the jungles of East Africa, there lived a kingdom, a really, really big kingdom. And this kingdom, there was a king uh, with one daughter. And this king, this king, he said, no one would ever marry his daughter unless they have the good qualities of a true man. I don't know. Qualities of a true man. You even wonder what those would be. So, <clears throat> the king, at some point, reached a time and his daughter was ready for marriage. Um, every, parent's, every parent's wish is their daughters or sons to get married at the end of the day. I mean, some don't mind but most parents would love their kids to get married at some point so it reached a, t a time when the daughter or the princess was ready to get married now the king uh told the informants the, ki the informants in the kingdom to tell the whole village that it was time for the daughter to get married now of course people had the news and they got excited like oh the king's daughter is, is, got, is going to get married but the king said, I'm not going to give away my daughter to some other prince or prince, prince in other palaces. I want to choose from the men I have in the village. So that, this is like giving chance to, to all the villagers who think they, they, can pass on, they can pass the challenge. The king said, however, I have a task to give to all men who come forward to marry my daughter. And the task was... Any man who would come here and drink hot water would be marrying my daughter. Now, of course, uh, men of long time ago, they, 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 were, they, they took on any challenge. They were not afraid of taking on challenges. They were like, drinking hot water? I'll try it. I'll give it a go. But of course, when you hear of hot water, this is something that you can't play with. It's, it's dangerous. It's impossible. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you just drink a cup of uh, coffee and you find it hot. You know, I myself, I, I want my cup of coffee sometimes a bit creamy because it, it, it cools it down, kind of. <laughs> so, all the men gathered from the village and everyone from the village came to the kingdom, to the palace. And <clears throat> they came to see this, uh, this event happening. So, one man by one came out to try and drink the water, you know. But as I told you in the first, drums, of course, they were out because it was a big ceremony. The king's daughter is going to get married, you know. It's not something that is it's, it's simple or small thing. It's a big thing. It's a big event. Drums, people dancing. So it was nice, lots of foods and drinks. So men tried, but of course they all failed, you know. Every man, after they had given a, a hot um, a jar of hot water, they would fail to drink it. You know, it was too hot for them. Now, on the same village, there was one wise man. And this was, wise man was called Mr. Hare. Does any one of you know what hare is? Yes, a rabbit. <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Hare was one of the wisest men on the village, and people respected him for that. So, Mr. Hay at first didn't come uh, for this ceremony. He was kind of busy doing his stuff. But then, when everyone failed, Mr. Hay heard of this news that, oh, the king had put uh, his, his daughter for marriage, but every man failed on the village. He was like, really? He, the people were like, yes. And people asked him, do you think you can manage to drink hot water? Mr. Hare said, of course, I'll take, on to the ch I'll take on the challenge. So, Mr. Hare went to the palace and told the king, Hey, king, I'm here to take on the task that you, you said. I'm here to drink the hot water and I'll marry the, prince, the princess. Sorry, I'll drink some water. The king said, it's okay, it's fine. I take it that's not hot water. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is cold water. <laughs> 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 so the king said fine again um the news spread the village okay mr hair has come out he's gonna drink the hot water again everyone gathered in the palace to drink how mr hair was gonna do this yet every man every strong man on the village has failed so they drummed they had food to eat and the princess was there, the king was there, the queen was there as well. So they bought the hot water for Mr. Hare. Then they gave it to him to drink. But remember, at the beginning of the story, Mr. Hare was one of the wisest men on the village. So Mr. Hare said, Before I drink this water, I want to prove to you all that I'm drinking hot water. It's not cold. It's hot water. So he told the whole villagers. Who had come for this ceremony. Please make a big circle. And I'm going to show you this hot water. Before I drink it. People were like oh I want to see. I want to see the hot water. Of course everyone was like oh maybe it was fake. But now I want to see. Mr. Hare wants to show us. So they were excited to see the hot water. That Mr. Hare was going to drink. So Mr. Hare was given a jar of hot water. So he went through, he went to one by one of the people in the circle, showing them, hello, my friend. Do you see the hot water I've been given? Do you see the hot water? I'm going to drink it. Can you see it? Then the person will be like, yes, I've seen it. It's hot. It's indeed hot. He went to the second one, to the third one, showing them, have you seen the hot water? Have you seen the hot water? And he went round in the circle showing the whole villagers who had come to the, in the palace. By the time he finished, he came to the center where he had started from at the beginning. Trust me. <laughs> no. By the time he finished, the whole villagers, the hot water wasn't hot anymore. <laughs> but because sometimes... You could see the steam, but it's not hot. <laughs> so he reached in at the center and he drank all of it and put the jar empty there. Everyone was amazed. Everyone was surprised. Everyone couldn't believe it. And like, how did Mr. Hare do this? Eh? How did he do this? Because the king wanted a unique man for his daughter, he said, you are the true man for my daughter. And there the wedding went on. Mr. Hare married the princess because of his knowledge. And in my tribe where I come from, after telling a story, we say, Nange Awe Nalabira. Oh, that's what I saw all those years ago. The reason why we say that's what I saw all those years ago, because this is kind of information passed on for generations. So it's those years ago, all those years ago. <laughs> 